what is up you guys back here and I want to talk about UFC 279 the main event we had Nathan Diaz taking on Tony freaking Ferguson two guys who have been in the sport since like forever and miraculously never fought each other at lightweight uh, get the opportunity after the whole debacle with Jemaya of missing weight at the weigh-ins and uh, uh, this fight was just as good as the one that was going to happen before. And before I get started, make sure to please hit the subscribe button. Ring that bell to get all notifications. And uh, yeah, man. The main event was freaking phenomenal. Uh, Nate Diaz does Nate Diaz things. Uh, Tony Ferguson um, does Tony things. Awkward, especially after that first first round. Uh it felt like a little bit of a filling out process, just a little. You know, both guys didn't have the time to really prepare. They literally took the fight on like a day notice on, on each other. So it was just like, all right, let's see what's going to happen. I knew it was going to be fun. Diaz started off very strong, you know, trying to take the center of the octagon. Threw some good punches. Um, Tony, they were doing a really good uh, when it came to the legs. Uh, I felt like he did a really good job when it comes to... The leg attack that he did against Nate Diaz. Um, Nate Diaz is not too prone to known like to really good to check the leg kicks. Uh, he checked a few. He checked one that cut up Tony's leg, and he was just bleeding throughout the fight when it comes to his leg. Um, you know that was that was good. Um, the second round starts, and it starts to pick up the pace just a little bit. Um, but uh, again, Nate Diaz. I think the boxing Nate Diaz, and. Um, you know, Tony landed, he did land some good shots, some good hooks uh, here and there. But uh, I would say for the most part, Nate Diaz had control of the fight. Tony Ferguson, um, it was, for me, it was more of like I wanted to see how he was going to be after the fight with um, Michael Chandler and that nasty knockout he had against Mike. And uh, he looked good, you know. Um, I, you know, I appreciate that he took the fight on sh such a short notice. Both guys definitely were going to take the fight regardless. Um, you know, it was great to see both guys. Um, but again, I think Nate Diaz in this fight, he had the, uh, he looked better. You know, um, he did his shenanigans, you know, doing the whole, you know, all mind game tricks. Um, but Tony was game. The only thing I didn't like from Tony Ferguson in this fight that he does most of the time, but he just gets away with it a little bit, um, which is turning his back. I mean, turning when I'm training, sparring, and doing all that stuff, man, you don't want to turn your back against your opponent or even sparring partner because they can, you know, it sucks getting hit, especially when you don't see it coming or you just see it very last second. I thought Nate Diaz did a good job of kind of capitalizing on that a little bit. It wasn't like he was hitting uh, Tony really clean, especially when he turned his back, but he did went. You know, Tony was doing big reactions off of Nate Diaz. Uh, it, it's crazy how the uh, corner wanted Tony. I think after like the third to, or even before the third, he tried to, they were telling him to, you know, try to get some takedowns. Don't force a takedown, but get a takedown. In my mind, Tony is a, is a good wrestler, uh, I think, you know, especially when in his high days. Um, but I think, again, the jujitsu of Nate Diaz. It's just on a whole different freaking level. And, you know, he gets it after like two minutes of the fourth, two minutes and some change. Um, Tony gets a takedown off of, Nate, off of the pressure of Nate Diaz was giving him. And then within that pressure and within that takedown, Nate Diaz just real quick snatches up his neck, take his neck, wrap up that guillotine, and the fight is over from there. You know, and that again, that shows... Like, it's crazy, um, you know, that it ended like that. You know, Nate got Tony to tap out, which is crazy. Um, and surprisingly, Nate Diaz didn't get cut. You know, that's pretty awkward. Nate Diaz, every time I see him fight, that dude always get cut. And he didn't get cut really much on this fight. You know, I wonder how the Chamayev fight would have went, just because I know the wrestling of Chamayev, um will play a factor, but I think, again, the jiu-jitsu of Nate Diaz is, it's not underrated, but I feel like it's, it feels underrated the way it was, the way that if the fight would have went with Chermaya, if would have went, um, you know, you know, props up to Nate Diaz, 
uh, for the victory tonight. Um, Tony Ferguson, you know, he looked good. Uh, probably a few things he still needs to work on for himself, and he said it himself. Um, yeah, man, it was an awesome fight. Guys, stay tuned. I got a beautiful interview video I got coming up with myself. My first year of doing YouTube, and I want to thank you guys for watching and um, liking and subscribing, leaving those comments down. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you guys like this video right here, make sure to throw those thumbs up. You know, I really would appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.